all of you might have might use chat gpt or at least know about it but do you know that generative ai tools and software is utilized in most of the modern businesses and software applications of today so uh, hello everyone my name is sujan matthew and i am the associate director in uh, quadrant knowledge solutions that's a global analyst company and welcome to the new talk show series where we talk about the latest trends in a very simple and cool manner and today we are going to discuss the implications of gen ai in businesses joining this discussion is my colleague kumar anand principal analyst kumar hello guys yeah hello guys um, here we will talk about the uh, generative ai in a broader perspective and with the supply chain and procurement landscape so starting with the generative ai is i think it's making a move across various industry applications industry business applications uh, in the field of innovation and efficiency like from creating a uh, dynamic content in marketing to customizing product designs and enhancing customer uh, services with virtual assistants and its impact is profound and wide reaching so particular stri uh, striking applications is in supply chain management like where generative ai transforms operations through predictive analytics uh, risk management enhanced automated uh, automation and uh, real time decision making so if i talk about ai as a master planner so ever wish uh, you could clone yourself to handle the million decisions needed in supply chain management generative ai is pretty much that wish granted like from picking the right suppliers to figuring out the nitty gritty of procurement and logistics ai is like the ultimate decision making sidekick and it runs uh, through tons of uh, scenarios in a blink giving businesses a heads up on the best moves to take and to make and it's all about staying a few steps ahead and making decision faster and cutting down uh, to those repeatable human errors so in the essence generative ai isn't just a another tool uh, yes. it's a yeah it's a game changer in the world of supply chain management by weaving uh, ai into their operations companies aren't just uh, streamlining their uh, uh, operational workflows and cutting cost they are building a smarter more resilient system which is ready to face the unpredictable ups and downs of the global market and thanks to the forward thinking capabilities of generative ai so uh, now i just wanted a different perspective so let me pause here and ask sujan what is your perspective on generative ai in procurement mm -hmm. landscape yeah uh, so kumar uh, so uh, just a brief uh, first of all uh, with what actually procurement is within a business so uh, procurement takes uh, procurement is uh, the procurement department is basically as the name states the purchasing de department inside the enterprise which means everything with relation to you know buying uh, which could be goods or services uh, which uh, it part of a company is usually taken over by the procurement uh, you know business department so uh, in this usually uh, there's lots of processes involved uh, if you uh, means if you compare it to say for example uh, uh, flipkart or amazon or any of the e-commerce sites mostly uh, the suppliers are already you know uh, already selected and given it to you yep. so your process would directly start from you know viewing the goods and services and directly start buying but in businesses the scale is too huge like uh, the purchasing goes to billions of dollars and this is where you know softwares are required so but what happens is uh, from a business perspective the uh, you know the process usually starts from supplier discovery and you know checking at uh, and understanding what all the different kinds of requirements of goods are actually uh, you know uh, needed for that particular time and uh, when you consider a business the scale is too much so that's why with respect to management and with respect to uh, you know uh, management of re requests and also with delivery of uh, management of suppliers like 
uh, I've given request to which supplier to for what material and to understand whether that material has been obtained or whether the procurement has been made. There's lots of intertwining, you know, tasks. So uh, software and digitization of these parts are actually reduced this to some certain level, but Gen AI takes it to completely different landscape. So what happens is with Gen AI, there is uh, you uh, each of these procurement team members now actually have a digital assistant with them who's managing their tasks and to identify which materials require requests and which are the ones which uh, you uh, you know have to be bought at a certain time, which means they are able to understand the demand. So with respect to all this, Gen AI is like the next big thing in procurement and it is actually making procurement quite cool. Kumar, uh, could you tell like uh, specifically on uh, what segments uh, you know, supply uh, Gen AI is actually, uh, you know, transforming the supply chain landscape. Uh, so if I talk about the overall uh, overall impact of supply chain management, let me uh, cut it into two parts of supply chain planning and execution part. So here the companies are leveraging AI by uh, creating a detailed simulation and models that predict outcome across uh, various scenarios which is also known as scenario modeling and enabling yeah. this uh, enabling proactive planning and decision making. For example, AI driven system can analyze historic data and current market trends to forecast demand with high accuracy and adjust inventory levels dynamically across various echelons and optimize logistic routes to reduce delivery times and cost. So this capability ensures shows that the supply chain are not only uh, efficient, but also adaptable to changing market conditions uh, that significantly enhancing their performance and reliability. So I have an example that's uh, insightful examples of generative AI that impacting supply chain planning and execution can be seen in the operation of a major multinational electronics manufacturer. Here, this company implemented generative AI to enhance uh, its uh, demand forecasting and inventory management like across multiple global markets. And by integrating AI algorithms that analyze both historical sales data and real-time market signal, such as uh, trends in consumer electronics and emerging technologies. So the system can predict uh, product demand with high accuracy month in advance. Yep. And as a result, the company maintained the high service levels uh, throughout the launch and avoided excess inventory cost and reduce the risk of stockouts. And yeah. demonst this demonstrates how generative AI can lead to more resilient and responsive supply chain operations, which we also, as a quarter knowledge solution, we also tell it as a autonomous supply chain. Yeah. 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 So um, more on this, actually, from uh, uh, like a procurement perspective, uh, there's lots of things that are very similar to what you mentioned, Kumar, with yeah. the different kinds of segments uh, and use cases, especially with the part where you talked about, you know, the demand sensing and also with uh, multi scenario modeling. So yeah. with respect to these things only, I'm also actually going to just give a brief. So uh, uh, so the main thing is, like I mentioned before, uh, it's of uh, the predictive analytics of for demand forecasting. So uh, with this, actually, you know, it's not just taking requests from different teams for uh, going uh, to, you know, purchasing and for procurement purposes. It's also that generative AI already understands the demand through, uh, you know, historic data, market trends through the Internet and from other factors due to which uh, it's able to recommend certain kind of uh, purchasing to be done immediately or uh, say, uh, in the force, uh, you know, uh, uh, soon. So with all these segments, if you look at it, what's hap actually happening is there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, what you mentioned earlier, Kumar, with respect to risk and resiliency, there is a lot of re resiliency that, uh, you know, is being realized through these capabilities, there, uh, which is why gen generative AI is very important for 
you know companies especially with disruptions such as the uh, you know changing economic uh, landscape uh, with geographical uh, uh, related political problems and also with respect to you know uh, upcoming climate changes and with respect to uh, you know uh, disruptions like covid there's a lot of things that's happening and predictive analytics and generative ai is able to you know monitor all those things because it's uh, it has a digital backdrop which is why its capacity to manage data is very very vast much more than what uh, you know humans can you know uh, manage so because of this using this there's actually another perspective that is very important in procurement that is sustainability and ethical sourcing if you see from this perspective uh, if i just give you an example uh, like in most uh, countries right now uh, you know with the automotive sector especially uh, there's a, there are a lot of pollution norms and manufacturing norms that are uh, forcing people to be more uh, you know companies to be more conscious of where they are sourcing the materials from and whether it's environmentally friendly uh, or whether it you know uh, compliant uh, complies to major norms so with respect to this there is a lot of risk from the business uh, perspective and which is why you know uh, keeping a track of all the updating uh, compliances and with respect to you know managing through best practices is something generative ai again comes in correct lastly uh, what generative ai also gives it's it's not just about the good of the company it's actually doing for the good of the people also or the em employees also through natural language pro uh, processing or nlp uh, generative ai is able to you know converse with uh, team members quite uh, you know eloquently it's able to understand the different perspectives and the sentiment of the person that the chatbot is being able to talk to and it's able to deliver uh, you know services or it's able to recommend processes for which you know it would have taken a lot of time for the employee to you know learn and find out yeah. for himself or herself this is where you know generative ai is helping a lot uh, uh, if i yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i think will stated about the generative ai in procurement landscape and in the supplier discovery and all so i also have a last line i think it's a little bit cool to say that the it yeah. uh, i think this agility uh, which lets business adapt on the fly shifting gears almost in, uh, instantly say a supplier drops the ball and ai already got the plan b ready this means the companies can stay flexible and responsive no matter yeah. what the market throws their way yeah exactly so uh, uh with respect to this only uh, i was uh, saying like with uh, team management and team collaboration uh, companies like for example zykus uh, who is doing very very well with respect to you know integrating chatbots into uh, collaboration software like teams uh, it's able to you know talk directly to uh, the team members in procurement and from the teams uh, you know uh, chat itself they are able to uh, you know complete their tasks and not needing to shift between softwares so that's the scale to which you know generative ai is moving on and uh, it's able to you know uh, provide you with lot of information and manage your tasks better so that you can complete your work faster yeah. so like we have discussed in uh, many of these videos before ai is not here to take your job it's here to uh, make sure that you are uh, able to you know experience better so that you have a uh, much better you know work environment on top of that it's also able to complete your mundane tasks faster so that uh, that part of uh, you know the job is actually you know uh, removed away from you and you can focus on things that actually uh provide you with a lot of interest and there's a lot of also other principles that gen ai actually uh, pushes like for example gamification through which uh, you know the employee experience is actually quite heightened uh, and that's how you know generative ai is quite important in 
businesses and that's how it's been transforming the business application world so uh, thank you all for joining uh, bye everyone and stay curious thank you